Hey, what's up, Internet? So, in a previous video, I had shown how to install the CSR1000V into VirtualBox and then how to integrate that VM into GNS3. Um, and in that demo, I had, you know, 20 some odd host only adapters and four different CSR1000Vs, and it was a total mess. So, I'm going to show you a better way to do it since I'm setting this up on my laptop and it's a nice fresh install of Windows. So, we can start from the beginning, and I'll do the install rather quick since I covered it in another video, and then we'll go directly into how to integrate this into GNS3 more efficiently. Also, before I get started, I'll just quickly note, and this won't change at all. Uh, under network, I just have the host-only adapter that was installed during the VirtualBox install. I'm not going to have 20 of these. I'm not going to add any additional host-only adapters. So I'll do new. I'll give it a name. CSR 1KV works for me. OS is Linux, and we're going to say it's other Linux 64-bit. Um, recommended that you do 4096 or 4 gigs of RAM. I'm going to do 2.5 gigs of RAM because it does run with 2.5 gigs of RAM. I'll create the virtual hard disk now, just next, next, all the way through that. Sorry, I had uh, started setting this up before and decided, hey, I should probably record a video. So, hence the error there. Let me just change the name. Call it new. How do you like that? Then under settings, go to serial port. Just check enable serial port. You can leave it and disconnect it. Um, GNS3 will handle setting up the host pipe and all that stuff. Under storage, go to the CD and set the ISO to boot to your downloaded ISO file. Mine is this CSR1000V and I think this is uh, 15.4 despite what the image name says. We'll press OK. We'll power it on. I have a pretty high resolution monitor, so this will be super tiny. We can leave this as auto detect. We're going to change it before we go to the GNS3 part. So you can leave it at serial VGA auto detect. And then there's really nothing to see here. It um, decompresses the files, installs the hard drive automatically. So I'm just going to pause it. Um, when you're installing it, you'll notice that it does reboot. So it goes through all this, it reboots, and then you starts up with a normal iOS boot up. So I'll come back when we're at the uh, the router user prompt. All right, so as promised, we're back at the user exec prompt. We're on our first boot here. So the last thing we're going to do before shutting this thing off and then jumping into GNS3 is we're going to set the console mode to be serial instead of VGA. Otherwise, you get really weird behavior. Um, this is super tiny, so I doubt that you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to enter the commands that I'm, pi I'm punching in here. So I'm going to go enable, comp T. We're going to say platform, console is serial, and end, and then we're going to write. End, and then write. And then we can shut this down. All right, and we'll get GNS3 up. And I'm not going to create a new project because I want, to, I want you to see this error first. That way you don't get freaked out when you see it. We can actually close this down. So first off, we'll go to Preferences, VirtualBox VMs. I had one in there previously that I was testing with, but let's do this new one. So we're going to click on New. It'll find my CSR 1KV. So the magic here is we have to check this box used as a linked base VM. And we'll click Finish. I'm going to right click Change Symbol. I'm going to make it into a router. And I'm also going to change the category. Instead of being end devices, I'll just make it so it shows up underneath routers. Then we'll quickly edit, edit it. We'll say Start in Headless Mode. I'm going to give it five adapters, and then I check this box, allow GNS3 to use any configured VirtualBox adapter, and press OK. We'll press Apply, OK, and then under Routers, there's our CSR1KV. 
So notice still in VirtualBox, if I can get it back up here, I only have one CSR. I don't have a four like I did before, but I'll drag. Oh, here's the error I was talking about, by the way. It says, uh, sorry, VirtualBox linked clones are not supported in temporary projects. All this means is you have to save your project. So I'll call mine, I think I had CSR lab before. Press OK, save. And now you can drag your linked clones in. And then pretty cool, as I drag them in, VirtualBox actually shows them as these linked clones and it gives my original base, GNS linked base for clones, but I can close this out. Just thought it was interesting. So I'll connect these interfaces up. I'm just gonna do two so I can show that having only one host only adapter isn't a problem. And then I'll power these on. We'll boot packages.com. I don't need the gold image for anything. And then I'll put a super basic config on there just to demonstrate that they're working. Bump this font down so it's not so insane. And we'll say this first one will be one nine two one six eight twelve. Second gig interface will be 192.168.21. I'll throw a loop back on there. 192.168.1.1. And a really basic EIGRP config. advertise all interfaces. So have my config ready. We'll just give these a second to boot up. All right. Looks like they're starting up just fine. Make sure this guy looks good. Okay. So I'll paste my config in for CSR1. Change that to a two. Better do dot one like that. Two. And I'll paste my config in on CSR two. I'm sorry, super putty. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So paste my config in for CSR2 now. And we'll just make sure EIGRP comes up. Moment of truth. Bam, there's our EIGRP neighborships. I should be able to do a show IP route, EIGRP. There's the loopback of CSR1. I'll try and ping it really quick. Looks good, and I'll source from my loopback zero adapter. Looks good, so that's it. Um, pretty straightforward getting a CSR into GNS3, and now you don't have to run multiple VMs and have a million host-only adapters, um, thanks to linked clones. So just wanted to share that out as a quick update for those of you that were getting frustrated with the previous video.